All right, let's see what we got. So I this is stuff I already saw, right? Yeah. Everything in here, here, and here. This is the bag of the other stuff. Other stuff. Okay, cool. Are these like Merrells or Keens? Yeah. Cool. Connect. PSP. No battery. There's a whole bunch of games in there too. Oh, you just lose games? Yeah. Let's see. are like PlayStation magazine discs. Those are cool. Some PC games. All right. This I think goes. This is for one of the Wii U things. This is like okay. a connect cable. Oh, okay. Because yeah, the older systems needed the uh, adapter. Yeah. Okay. Then an extra Wii U charger. Okay. Cool. This. Oh, you found the controller. Yeah. That's nice. And then, I don't know if this is worth anything. But... Let's see. 36 x Pro. I've never actually seen that. Probably like five, ten bucks, yeah. maybe. Okay. And then everything else is everything else I saw. The video games. and Yeah. And this bag is just like Infinity characters and some other crap that I just... Did you bring the guitars with the corrosion? No. Oh, you didn't? No, no. Darn. Because I might have tried to clean them. They were like super bad. All right, guys. We are back at the house and it... Doesn't look like much, but paid $680 for everything. Um, we worked out a better deal. I wish I had that part on camera. I filmed a little bit of me just going through some of the boxes, some of the things, but I want to show you guys everything I got for $680 and let me know if I had, if I did a good deal in the back of my mind, I feel like I overpaid a little bit. I'm not sure you guys be the judge. So in this first box, we had this, which is what I bought at the thrift store, uh, 99 cents for a book. That's actually going for a good amount of money, but that's not part of this haul. This first box right here, let's see, you can see Soap's been chewing up her toy over there. That's a lot of little stuff fuzz from one of her toys. Uh, <laughs> from this first box right here, we have a few brand new sealed Lego Dimensions things. And honestly, I know nothing about Lego Dimensions. I don't know if they're still worth any money or not, but at least these are brand new. Oh, this one's used. Look at that. It's taped up. Did not know that. Well, that one's used. Are they? Uh, that one's new. Okay. So that one's used. These two little ones are new. It's a shame. You would hope that the big one would be new too. <laughs> oh, there's a Switch game in here. Didn't know that. Nice. Kirby Star Allies. I like seeing that. It's a good game. We have Plants vs. Zombies on the DS. Two copies of Super Mario Maker. One in the big case. One in the regular case. And there we go. Yeah, it's in there. Very nice. We have a bunch of Wii U games. We have Yoshi's Woolly World. Alright, I think that's complete. Now the tough thing with knowing if newer games like uh, Wii U, PS4, Xbox One. It's tough knowing if they're comp complete or not because some come with manuals, some don't. Um, so how I always like to do it is either go on eBay and uh, type in the game plus complete afterwards and see, look through the pictures, or I go to YouTube and I just type in Yoshi's Woolly World Unboxing and I watch somebody open up a brand new case and see everything that comes with it before I say it's complete. Because complete means complete. So I want to make sure I'm not, you know, getting a bunch of pissed off customers. Got Mario Kart 8. Feels empty. That's in there. And Game Party Champions. A couple more good games, honestly. We got DuckTales Remastered. Lego City Undercover. Lego City Undercover is not worth much. Oh, this one's sealed. Lego City Undercover. Too bad that's... One of the lower value games, but it is brand new, so maybe it has a little bit of value. We have the Plants vs. Zombies, Pandemic State of Emergency. This game is brand new. I'm probably restricted on this. A lot of these specialty board games are restricted for a lot of people, so I have a weird feeling I am. I don't know for a fact, though. I, I think I might be restricted in that. But you guys are seeing prices before I am, so I don't even know how great of a deal I got. I, I looked up a few things, and then I agreed to come take a look 
and work out a deal in person. So this is a viewer of YouTube. Uh, she's really cool. Uh, she lives locally uh, in Connecticut, obviously, near me. So that's why we're able to do these pickups. We got Transformers Prime, Sonic Boom. I actually just sold a Sonic Boom, not this version, though. Sold a Sonic game for the Wii U recently. Nintendo Land and Rabbids Land. Uh, I don't think any of these are valuable. Maybe the Transformers, but I don't think so. Uh, we have a bunch of Wii games. Mario Power Tennis. I've never seen a, a case look like this for the Wii, which is actually interesting. Look at that. I've never seen one that has this weird white outline. Don't think it adds any value. <laughs> if anything, it probably lowers the value. Uh, we have a little Yoshi Amiibo. These, yeah, $10. These woolly ones have been on sale all over the place. So I know they're not worth too much, but it's still added money. I will take it. Got a big Nerf barrel. Oh, it has some bullets in there. These can go for good money. Nerf accessories in general can go for really good money. So always keep an eye out for Nerf accessories, guys. Same thing goes with these handheld games. They can be worth good money. I don't think any of these are super valuable ones. Um, you know, maybe $10 each, possibly, maybe a little bit less, but, uh, I always look for the big screen, the big screen solitaire sells so well, big screen slots, things like that can go for, you know, $30, $40. These little ones, eh, not so much. All right. We do have more Wii U games. Uh, Just Dance 2015, Wipeout 3, Hyrule Warriors, Call of Duty Ghosts, which was rare for a little bit, but the prices on all Wii U stuff is coming way down. Uh, Pikmin 3, uh, Penguins, Wipeout, Create and Crash, NES Remix, which I think this game is worth a little bit right here. NES Remix Pack. We have Your Shape Evolved and Snoopy. Snoopy's Grand Adventure. We actually have more here. We have Pac-Man, which is cool. There's a second Pac-Man game, which is actually worth a decent amount. I always try to keep an eye out for that one. Uh, this game, Mario and Sonic at the Sochi Winter Olympics, has a decent value, but the really the one that has really good value, or used to have really good value, it's come down a bit. It's this Mario and Sonic at the Rio games. This game actually got taken off of store shelves, so it's hard to find. Uh, what else do we have in here? Super Smash Bros. Wii U, not a super valuable version. Uh, Splatoon. Paper Mario Color Splash, pretty much almost every Wii game. There's not many Wii U games. Uh, Donkey Kong Country, Tropical Freeze, Minecraft, and Batman 3. And I think that's all the Wii U stuff. Now we have some DS and 3DS stuff, which I totally forgot about. What do we have in here? We have Sonic Colors, Tinkerbell, Kirby Mass Attack, Zelda Ocarina of Time 3D, Hyrule Warriors Legends, Majora's Mask, and Mario Maker. Oh, and Luigi's Mansion Dark Moon. I've always wanted to play this. I might actually play this before I sell it because I've always wanted to play it. And there's one more hidden down here. Super Mario 3D Land. Very, very cool. So, so far so good. We have some valuable games in here, but it still doesn't justify a almost $700 purchase, obviously. So, let's keep going and see if we can find anything else. An Xbox 360 Media Remote. These are not worth much. We'll go through these later. All right, here are all the Wii games. There's a Wii Fit Balance Board manual and a little inkling from Splatoon Amiibo. Very cool. All right, so let's see what we have here. We went through all those. We have Super Paper Mario, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Mario, two copies of Mario Party 9, Just Dance 2014 Metroid Prime Trilogy, which I believe is a semi-rare game, and this is even a steel book. So this might have some good value to it. Uh, we have Super Mario Bros. Wii, Donkey Kong Country Returns, Mario and Sonic at the London Olympic Games. That is another one that used to have a lot of value. I think it came down. The Olympics are coming up this year, so I'm thinking a lot of these Olympic Games will go up in value uh, the closer to the Olympics that we get. Uh, Twilight Princess, Legend of Zelda, Mario, two copies of Mario Kart Wii, always good to have. And I do have a couple... Um, Steering wheels, so we'll take a look at those in a minute as well. New Super Mario Bros. Wii, is this brand new? No, it's just very shiny. Uh, another, oh, we actually had two of those. Very, very, um, you know, valuable game. Good one to have. 
uh, Punch Out Super Mario Galaxy, which this is actually one Mario game, guys, that is not valuable at all. Has almost no value, to be honest. Uh, I'll make some money on it, but just if you think you see a Mario game and you think that, oh, yeah, you can't go wrong. Spend five bucks on it. This is one that you wouldn't want to do that with. They made so many of them. It's a great game. It's just not super uh, valuable. Uh, we have Super Smash Bros. Brawl, which also has come down in value because of the new Super Smash Bros. on the Switch. Uh, we have Twilight Princess, another Twilight Princess. There's a lot of two copies in here. Another Olympic Games, Disney Enchanted Journey. This game used to go for like a crazy amount of money. It's come way down, but it's just a little bolo, something to keep an eye out for. This game still goes for, you know, a little bit of money. Super Monkey Ball, Banana Blitz, Wario Land, Shake It, Kirby's Epic Yarn, Mario Super Sluggers, Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games. Uh, oh, this is the original. This one's not worth much. Uh, Lego Dimensions, Disney Infinity 2.0, uh, Raven Rabbids, Epic Mickey 2, and Rabbids Go Home. Okay, so that is the very first box, guys. Not a bad box. A lot of these games, this is going to make me a lot of money. And of course, I'm flashing prices up on the screen for you guys so you can see, um, you know, the totals of how much I'm expecting to get. All right, so we put that on the ground, and now we have this box right here. So we have a Super Mario 3D World Nintendo Wii U. Uh, there's the console. There's the gamepad. She said everything was in here complete, all the uh, paperwork and things like that. I'm not going to open the whole box up. but And we have a few of these steering wheels. This is an aftermarket one, probably not worth anything. But these official Nintendo Wii ones, you could bundle with Mario Kart on the Wii, make a little extra money. So that is exactly what I will do. Not bad find there. Um, but this Wii U, it comes with Nintendo Land and Super Mario 3D World. And of course, the system itself, this is very heavy. Oh, I think it's in here. Oh my gosh. Okay, so I didn't know I was buying two Wii U's. Unless it's, it's heavy, so it's got to be in here. I thought I was only buying one Wii U. Okay, well this actually helps my price a lot because I could get after fees about a hundred to 120 dollars for these so that helps a lot i was a little nervous and we have two nintendo wii's now do i have all the cords for these i have no idea i actually did not think to look for that uh looks like we have a bunch of cords in here so we have a power cord for the wii u then we have some miscellaneous things in here so uh i was gonna be buying yeah i was gonna be buying some uh, Guitar Hero and Rock Band guitars from her for the Xbox 360, but when she came, and this is why we ended up working out a different price, when she came, she told me that the battery compartments were so corroded she couldn't even open them. That's not good. Um, odds are if they're that bad to where you can't even open them, they're probably shot. So we worked out the price beforehand, but that was including three uh, Guitar Hero guitars, which I can sell on... Amazon after fees get at least 50 bucks a piece for so that was 150 bucks instantly gone So that was you know something that I was a little worried about um, When we met up, but she showed me that she brought some extra things for me to go through and Hopefully it offsets the price. I'm not a hundred percent sure if it will but let's take a look So here we go in this box right here. We have a pair of keen hiking shoe slipper sandal thingies um they look small. They're definitely women's, or maybe they're a man with really small feet. I don't know. Uh, they don't have a price on the bottom, so I don't know. Oh, yeah, they do right there. So I think she got them thrifting, which that's how she says she gets most of her stuff. So that's awesome. She makes money. I make money. It's all good. So if anybody now is watching and they would like to offer me some things and we could do a meetup and I could film it, that would be great. <laughs> this is a PSP, but it's missing the battery compartment and the battery itself but it is a 3001 which is the most valuable model uh, it is in rough shape i don't even know what that is oh, that's like a dead pixel on the screen under the screen so this i would have to sell this for parts for sure this thing is like beat beat yeah that's a shame because these can go for a hundred bucks but not in this condition obviously uh we have some older games in here we have battle clash which i've never heard of didn't even look it up it's very very clean we have Super Mario Bros. Duck Hunt. This is another Mario game that has almost no value. Very little value anyways. I think there's one more hidden down here. Yep, right here. Super Mario Bros. 3, which I think is $10-ish. 10 
not bad. I don't actually sell a lot of retro games, so my prices are kind of off. I haven't sold a retro game that old in a while. I just don't find them near me. Um, we have this case right here filled with games. Uh, Game Shark. Game Sharks actually hold value, guys, and this is Game Shark 2. This should have some value if it works. Oh, that's clean. Okay, cool. That is good. Make sure that doesn't get destroyed. What else do we have in here? Test Drive Off-Road, Star Wars, Tony Hawk, some good games in here. Now, not super valuable games. Test Drive Unlimited is actually a valuable game. This game is phenomenal. I love it. Uh, and then a whole bunch of these PlayStation Magazine discs. I don't think they have any value, but these are all PlayStation Magazine discs. And then some PC games. Nerf, Nancy Drew. Uh, PC games don't really have a lot of value either. So, yeah, who knows? I don't even know if all the discs are included for each game. Backyard Skateboarding, never heard of that. Uh, so, oh, Lego Island! Oh my gosh, I used to play this in preschool, guys. Uh, Battle Chess Collection. Never heard of it. Okay, cool. Interesting. So let's put that Game Shark back in here, close it up, put it to the side. Some money there. I'm not going to pull all this out, but this is like miscellaneous cords and things, I think. Lots of controllers, uh, a series of unfortunate events, a whole bunch of those books. Not sure if it's complete set or not. Uh, some, oh, one of these Hyperkin. This is for the Switch. You plug that in and you could play with GameCube controllers. Uh, a couple Switch, uh, Wii U like Pro controllers. It's not bad. I know there's another one down here. Yep. Those are good to, oh, this one's, I've never seen this one before. It's an interesting looking one. It's just called Controller Pro U. So, some knockoff thing. And then a Connect. And then everything else, I think this is where all the cords are. Uh, oh, and, actually guys, might as well keep digging. We got a few dongles for Rock Band. Dongles can go for good money. And then a whole bunch of these keyboards. I think there's three or four of them. Is this legit? It is. It's Apple. So, I uh, it's not wireless. It's wired. I wonder if these have any value. I wonder. I think there's three or four of them. So, it should be interesting to see if this has any value. So, that's that box. Now, we went through that box, that box, and this box. There are two more little bags to go through. Three more. Three more little bags to go through. Okay, cool. This little bag will be really quick. We have a Nintendo 64 controller. Let's see how that thumbstick is. Ooh, that's tight. I'm barely touching it. That's a good controller. Nice. And we have a calculator. Not a super valuable one, I don't think. A TI-36 Pro. Never sold a TI-36 Pro. I'm trying to get it to... Well, we'll just put it in there. I've never sold one of those, so no idea if there's money in it. I doubt it, but you never know. Okay, we have some more video games. I think this is the invaluable lot. Lego Batman, Cars. We'll just pull them out. Shrek, Forever After, Sesame Street. We Party. This game's actually valuable. This game has some value. Uh, Monopoly has some value. Just Dance 2 does not. I Spy does not. Cars 2 does not. What else do we have in here? Big Brain Academy. No. Open Season. No. Ben 10. No. Metal Gear Solid 3. Snake Eater. This was one of my very first games I got for PlayStation 2 back in the day. I didn't know what I was doing, so I was not very good at video games, and I don't think I ever got past the first level. So that's kind of cool. Guitar Hero 5 actually has some value. Walk it out. I have sold this with the dance pad for like $60 or $70. Uh, super long tail item, though. Not a lot of people are looking for this game. What else do we have in here? Who wants to be a millionaire? Not sure if that has value. Family Feud Decades used to have value. Not sure if it does, but again, you guys are seeing prices on the screen. Uh, cars, Tune, Mater's Tall Tales, Zumba Fitness Party. I've sold this game brand new sealed a few times. The Last Airbender and Metal Slug Anthology. Look at that. It sells at GameStop for 10 I doubt there's any value in it. You never know, though. Hopefully there's some value in this. Ooh. All right. We've got a bunch of games in this one. Okay. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Another Elmo game. This game I used to sell all the time for about 15 bucks, and then it just stopped being worth anything. Uh, the Price is Right, Just Dance Kids, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, NCAA Football 09, all play. And, hey, I love seeing Wii Sports, but it's empty, so that's a shame. But that's okay, at least it has a sleeve so I could 
uh, change something from acceptable to good condition because I find them disc only all the time. We have a HDMI cord. That's actually nice. I like HDMI cords. I always need them for things. Wheel of Fortune and... Oh, this one's brand new. No, it's not brand new. Just has a sticker on the bottom. Sim Animals Africa. I think there's two more, three more in here. High School Musical Sing It, Just Dance 4, and Skylanders Giant. So most of this is fluff. Few good ones in there. Not bad. Off to the last bag, guys. Let's see what we got in here. This is like a mishmash of Disney Infinity. Bunch of Disney figures. I don't think any of this is worth anything. Here's a little Donald Duck. Maybe there's a couple rare ones in here. I don't know. There's some sealed Lego. Probably from that open Lego set that I opened earlier. This guy's heavy. A Hulk. I think Disney Infinity shut down, actually. So, I don't even think... Or Lego Dimensions. One of them shut down. So, that's what's in there. Just a bunch of that Disney stuff. So, not bad. And that is everything I picked up for $680. Did I overpay? You guys let me know. I honestly don't know. Uh, two we use is nice. Two Wii's is nice. Three or four of these is nice. And uh, lots of high quality games. So I'm going to start listing this stuff on Amazon right now, tonight, getting it ready to go. And uh, hopefully I can drop it off by the end of the week or next week. So, hey, Sov, you're my baby. Do you guys like the, sh the duvet cover? It's all puppies. And it's perfect because we have a puppy. You can't go wrong. You can't go wrong, my little love. All right, guys. So I did just go through all the games. And all of these are in great condition, ready to be shipped off. These ones need to either be cleaned or some discs are missing. So uh, this car is two. Metal slug. Where's one with a disc missing? Uh, I think this just stands for, yeah, no disc, which is okay. It's not a super valuable game. Not the end of the world. Um... A few of these are really good games that are, like, really scratched, though. I'll show you guys. Uh, the Wii Sports, missing, unless it's in one of the consoles. The Rabbids game is missing, unless it's in one of the other consoles. Uh, Super Mario Sluggers is very scratched. I'm trying to find one that's really bad. Um, it's sad, because some of these are really good, of course. This Mario Party 9. Take a look at this. Hopefully, I can get it to work. But it's probably not going to. If you take a look, see if we can focus in on that. How are we going to do this? All right. See those nicks up there at the top in the black area? Those are like actual nicks in the disc. I could feel them. They're like little, little scratches that are deep to the touch. So those are usually irreparable. This game has that. Uh, this Disney game has it. And that Mario game has it. And that Mario game has it. So these four are the ones with the nicks in them. Not sure if that's going to be able to be repaired. Um, I'm going to run them through the disc cleaner, and then if I can't get them to work, because I just have a JFJ Easy Pro, some other like big companies and stuff have much larger resurfacing machines than I do, ones that work much better than mine. And if I can't get them to work, then I will sell them in a lot on eBay, as you know scratch non-working games people buy them all the time in hopes that they can fix them uh, my jfj you, does like a great job 99 percent of the time but it's not a full resurfacer so that's just something to think about these four games which would have made me a good amount of money are now might be worthless so that takes a big cut out of this but i'm glad all of these are perfect every single wii u game is in perfect condition so that helps out a lot so nice all right guys here i am in front of the computer i've been working my butt off you see that number right there 838 i'll explain that in a second so what we have here are all the good ones these are all the ones that uh didn't have scratches or anything wrong with them so these are all listed all ready to go it is uh just about 11:45 at night now and i got all of these listed now i was already working on an Amazon shipment. So if you scroll way down, you'll see I was, you know, adding Amiibos and some CDs and things like that. So I already had a shipment. That was what the total of my shipment was in my net profit section. And then this is what it is after adding all of these video games. So I just did that minus that to get 
that much profit so far. So I paid uh, 700 and or no, $680. Well, what I'm doing to kind of itemize everything, I'm writing down exactly what I'm going to break everything down so I know kind of how much I paid for each item. So most games I'm putting $3 and some games I put $1 if I'm only going to make a buck or two on them just because I don't want to show a loss in here for, uh, you know, games that aren't worth too much. And so I ha I'm going to keep doing this with every other item until I equal $680. So if I have to make the Wii, Wii U's cost 100 each, so I only profit a couple bucks on them, that's what I'm going to do. So I could actually have a breakdown to see how much money I'm actually going to make. So, so far, we are already pretty much in the profit. I mean, we definitely are. So that's awesome. Hi, what do you want? You want to go outside? <laughs> Jeez. Okay, I'll let her out. And again, these are all the scratched ones. These are not worth anything back here, so uh, or just not enough for me to want to send them into Amazon. I'd make either fifty cents or less on them, but they still sell for about you know five six dollars a piece. So these are the kind of things I lot up and sell in a big bundle. People buy them for their to fill in their collections, and they end up only costing them about a buck or two per game. So that's a good way to get rid of that stuff. This stuff, I still need to get uh, listed, but I have to clean all of these discs. It takes me about two to three minutes to clean a disc fully. So we're looking at about, what, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. We're looking at about 45 minutes here at least. So I don't know if I'm going to do that. I'm a little tired right now. And I just heard that. I just heard the smoke alarm make a noise. Uh-oh, got to change the battery. Um, And I haven't looked these up yet. So I'm going to just keep listing. I realized I forgot to show you guys everything that was in here. I haven't even looked in here. I see a uh, Super Paper Mario, which is nice. But let's open up this baggie and see what's in here. All right, so we have Disney's Bolt. Club Penguin, I don't think those are worth anything. Photo Frenzy, uh, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, this might be worth something. Uh, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, that might be worth something. Lego Battles Ninjago, what is this? Paws and Claws Regal Resort, eh. Namco Museum DS, that's worth a little bit. And Animal Crossing Wild World, that's worth some money right there, maybe 15 bucks or so. And... Uh, Kung Zhu, a Zuzu pet game. I know that's not worth anything either. I think that's every... Oh, and Cooking Mama 2. What does that say? Dinner with friends. Okay. And then that uh, Paper Mario game. So cool. Now that is officially everything.